This is episode two of How an Engineer Holds a Hammer, also known as What's Steve Up To in His Garage. Uh, today, I'm making light stands, so let's get to it. So I've got some different types of PVC pipe. I've got a T, a coupler, an elbow, and an end cap here. I'm gonna take these PVC pipes and cut them into lengths of uh, two feet and one foot and then I'm going to make some shorter six inch pieces. Um, the longer ones will be for the tree part of it and the shorter ones will be for the base. This part of my work table is two feet long, which is just what I need for this cut. And for the shorter sections, I have a ruler built into my table here, which is just going to work great. It's actually on the magnet, so it slides but stays in there. Now I got this idea from the Frugal Filmmaker. So if you're interested in anything film, make sure to check them out. It's got a lot of really good ideas, good ideas on how to save money and still get things done right. This is pretty much a direct build of what he does for his light rigs. I don't think there's anything new here that I'm showing you. Just thought it was a neat thing I'd pass on. That's it. That's the base. You know, the, the tree part's even easier. You just take those two foot sections, put a coupler in the end, and that goes in the base. And you can make it any increment you want of one foot. Um, you put you know, two foots or one foot in there until you get the height you want. A neat thing about these is you can also take them apart and store them very easily. It'll all fit into a bag that's uh, you know, two feet long. All that's two light stands. Now the guy at the hardware store described this pretty well. It's like an erector set for big kids. <laughs> I think you just said it's like an erector set. But anyway, this is another little uh, rig here that the Frugal Filmmaker came up with. What it is, is a table ca uh, camera dolly. I would just need to put wheels on the end of these here and uh, a camera mount up here and it'll roll on the table. You can angle it and create a, a dolly that will make uh, curved motions as well. So the light trees we built are for hanging can lights, like this one here. It's got an incandescent bulb in there that's 100 watt, and it just hangs on the tree. You can position it wherever you want. Now, back behind me here, these are my existing lights that I have. These are halogen work lights. They're very bright, you know, uh, very harsh on the subject. So what I have on this one here is a diffusion. It's it's a Roscoe 3026 um, diffusion gel, two, two quarter sheets clipped together here. That kind of makes like a soft box, it you know, breaks down the light quite a bit. You might be wondering, you know, why is Steve so interested in video? And well, you know I got Gecko Music Studio, and I'd love to do more with it. Music is just so much fun to do, I love recording. It seems like everybody wants a visual representation of what they're hearing. Every, you know, it's, it's both on the consumer side and the, uh, the producer side as well as the musicians. You know, they want a visual to be captured visually and be able to present themselves on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, everyone's expecting video. Another thing about the halogens is they're very orange. So I've got a color temperature blue gel in front of this. You can, you can see that's pretty blue. <laughs> um, and that's about it. So, uh, you know, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll check you later.